Hi guys, today we're doing another food review and today is from Gifted Hand Sushi and um, I saw them passing in Shigonas. Now, I remember the name because I think I saw people advertising the sushi on Instagram. So I looked them up, I decided to WhatsApp them, they're located in Shigonas and I saw this thing they had was the Chef Platter. It was for 165 you get 20 pieces and they have like a list of mandatory sushi that is involved with this platter and i simply asked them like is the veggie roll mandatory and they were like yeah so i'm like all right you know what fine because it's the first time i'm going to try it from them i say okay you know what i'll try it but kindly enough they decided to say okay they're making an exception and they switch it out and they put a california roll for me so i am very very grateful for that this is not a paid advertisement by the way i am going to be doing this and tasting their food for the first time and mind you, I am allergic to fish, so you know I have to really love sushi to make the exception, right? So, I guess it's five pieces of each, so this is the California rule. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> right? This is the Crazy Dragon. I like how this looks. I got two sets of these. Now, I guess I had to open it and show you all, right? If I can open it, I just like do an aerial view of the whole thing. I got the flaming tuna and Philadelphia, right? So let me just do a aerial view of this thing. So this is how it looks. This is the flaming tuna and the Philadelphia. This is the California and Crazy Dragon. And this is the California. Right, so now for the taste test. Now obviously we don't eat sushi like how the Japanese are supposed to eat it. But it's a taste test, right? All right. So I'm going to try the flaming tuna and the Philadelphia. Now, to me, I personally think it looks the same. I don't know if it's the same thing, but regardless, I think it's something different because the toppings look different from what I'm seeing here. So this is, I'm guessing, the Philadelphia. It's really big as you all can see. So, mm. I wish I could fast forward this piece. <laughs> but I like it. The salmon is not too fresh. It's nice and mellow. It has a nice kick to it. Spicy. A nice tangy flavor. I love it. I'm gonna guess this is the flaming tuna. This one has like black sesame seeds, so that's what I think is different. Mmm, this is spicier than the other one. It has like a nice tamarind flavor as well. This this um tuna is a little more fresh than the one I previously eat, but not in a bad way. I know, so it's like to my palate with the ginger, my bad. And it'll taste even sappy either. <laughs> you know, this is the only type of ginger I could eat without feeling sick, by the way. Yeah, crazy. I guess it's more pickled. Alright. So now we're going to the crazy dragon. I like how this looks though. I find the presentation was really, really nice. I'm not gonna lie for that. Here we are. Mmm. Okay. I love this sauce, whatever this is. The creaminess of the crab. 
it has a more of a sweet texture or a sweet taste I think this is my favorite so far mm -hmm. actually that's a, that's a kind of fun you know I do it that's wrong I love this California simple tasty the last one is the crazy dragon it's a shrimp and it says crab and I'm guessing a piece of fish hold on let's let's put it apart let's get a little bit of wasabi The wasabi is not strong. Usually, when I think I'll hint, it's like, woo! If you got it all in your head. Alright. Let's do this one. Not really my favorite. I mean, it has its uniqueness. It's creamy. It's a nice blend. The shrimp, creaminess, but hmm, it's nice, but it's not as nice as the California roll. So overall, I will rate it nine point five. And that's very high for me because people who knows me knows that I like to eat more veal. So for first impression, I'm really, really happy with what I got. So for me personally, California, Philadelphia, Flaming Tuna, and then the Crazy Dragon in that order. The service, the price, presentation, the size, and each roll had its unique taste well to me i kind of think like the flaming tuna and the forever was was similar but again as i say you could have tasty distinguished when it came to the fish and one was spicier than the other and the other one was more of a of a sweeter texture than the other the philadelphia was not as fresh as the flaming tuna so even though it tastes similar it had its distinguished differences so guys you all should go and check them out this was really nice so i would recommend yes try them out especially since it's like budget friendly and i think like two people could share this because it's like a lot of food and especially for the sizes it's not like those little rules and whatever so thank you very much gifted hand sushi for accommodating me and switching all the rules and whatever and for your wonderful service, I will literally will be visiting you all again.